The Lagos State Government says it is set to embark on the deconstruction of other structures within the complex of the 21-story building which collapsed at Jared Road in Ikoyi in November last year. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bengal Motosho, said this while briefing newsmen in Alausa. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuku Yedoku tells us more on the reports. The briefing commenced with a minute of silence observed in honor of those who lost their lives in the unfortunate incident. Top on the agenda was the deconstruction of the two remaining buildings still standing at the premises of the collapsed 21-story building. Commissioner for Information, Binga Omotosho, accompanied by his counterparts in the Ministries of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Relations, Tayo Bangboshi Martins, and that of Physical Planning and Urban Development, Idris Salako, told journalists that the construction will commence on the buildings having failed integrity tests. We are here because of the November 1 incident. Lagos does not pray to ever have that kind of an incident again. We are here to, the fulfillment of what the panel that was set up after the collapse of that building, what it recommended that the government of Lagos should do, that those other buildings that are still standing on that site should be brought down because according to experts, they have failed what they call the integrity test. Omotosho announced that a stakeholders meeting had previously been held in this regard and all formalities have been completed to hand the complex over to the contractor for the deconstruction. The Commissioner for Fiscal Planning explained that the land would be taken over by government in line with the state fiscal planning law. The development law 2019 as amended, section 74 to be precise. Any property that collapses in Lagos State is automatically forfeited to the Lagos State Government. So the property as, as it is, is forfeited. The contractor handling the deconstruction, Theophilus Lewo, and laid fees about safety of workers, saying control methods have been worked out. We will tie up these slabs first. What does that mean? If we want to cut a section of a slab, maybe one meter by one meter, we will put steel chains through that slab in about four to six points, such that such that it is hooked up. It holds the slab. It sort of suspends the slab, even though we haven't cut it. We will then begin to cut, so that by the time you are cutting, those steel chains have already held up the piece you are cutting. So, and it doesn't drop. He said the deconstruction is expected to take 90 days that could be extended due to bad weather. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.